What is up guys? This video is like literally starting right after that update from my last video. If you uh, see how long it's been since I've uploaded then you know how hard I'm slacking but I've honestly I've just realized like since I've been in Colorado that I have been just been really selfish with like my YouTube channel and just all the stuff I know about skateboarding and just everything. I try to make videos about like important things I know but <laughs> I know like there's people that have there's kids and just even adults that just have so many questions about skateboarding and just like even I still have questions like there's still some tricks that I know there's like little things that I don't know and it just makes them like super easy like I never knew how to do like Ollie Norse and then when I moved out here to Colorado I went to the indoor park and some like little kid taught me how to do them like all you literally do is an Ollie and you like kick down with your foot you don't like kick out you kick down and push the board down and it's weird and there's just like other things that you know someone just oh the other day on this ramp some I've never been able to do back smith stall for whatever reason like I've done them before obviously but I've never known how to do them and some kid literally like I just he just had like really good back smiths and front smiths and I just asked him how to do it and then literally like a few tries later boom it's done like so skateboarding is just crazy like that it's just little tips that can help people and just it's amazing you know there's a lot of people that don't even like take into consideration all the things they're doing to land the trick I'm rambling way too hard but my point is that I need to be making videos that help you guys out and maybe this video right here isn't going to help you guys out because it's just going to be me fucking around on this mini ramp because I only have half of it unfortunately but watching me skate and like watching me progress like it maybe it'll inspire you guys maybe maybe there's someone who has like the same amount of skill level as me but there's a trick that I can do that they've always wanted to do and they see me do it and it just pisses them off man it go inspires them to go land it and it's just a crazy like learning effect it's kind of like how Braille does it with Carlos because every time I watch Carlos Lastra I think of like tricks I could do and then I go try them and they're way too insane but you know it's just it just gives your mind more creativity so like when you do get to like a certain level you know you have those tricks in mind I've just been like on a ramble spree. I haven't vlogged in a while, so <laughs> I just have like a lot to talk about. So I'm gonna try to like upload more often and just upload whatever. Like I'm gonna film whatever. Like if I take a hundred tries trying to do like a dumb trick on this, like I just wanna show you guys like skateboarding's not easy and like there are things you can do to make it work for you, you know? But today I think I'm just gonna learn how to like do a bunch of like front side stalls and stuff because I never skate this side of the ramp because I just don't like it for some reason and so I'm just gonna learn all the tricks that I suck at like I'm gonna try to like front smith but hold the front smith as long as I can maybe back smith as well but back smith's kind of sketchy still so I don't know but I'm just gonna try to learn all my front side like stalls like proper maybe like front side disaster too I think that's the plan. Let's uh, let's start with the front smith though, because that's the one I really want to practice. All the other ones I kind of know how to do, really. I think I figured it out. I think you just gotta lean back, and I think the dip helps lock it in as well. So the dip's a very important factor, but if you're not leaning back with that dip, then you're just gonna go straight in the ramp, so I gotta clean my fucking wheels off again. <laughs> I think I'm 
starting to figure it out a lot better. My wheel, my trucks are frozen. <laughs> this trick would be a lot easier grinding but I'm getting a few good ones like a lot more decent lock-ins than what I'm usually used to that slam was pretty fun <laughs> let's try a few more I want to lock in for like five seconds but it's kind of hard especially without like a grind there's no like momentum to help me hold it we'll get it though saying that last one was five seconds or anything but I felt like I had some pretty damn good control of that like if I was grinding oh let's get a few more that trick's pretty fun actually now that I'm like standing up on it a trick. I have to clean my wheels off. Trying to hold it, but I can't hold it. Whatever, we're gonna hold, we're gonna hold it right here. Let's see if we can just do it. One, one clip. Are we, are we good on the angle? Good enough. All right. Hold it. Hold it. You didn't hold it. <laughs> you didn't hold it. I mean, that was pretty good. I, I, I feel like I just need a grind. Okay, that was decent. I'm gonna try to like count while I'm up here. That was like three seconds. Cause I counted kind of quick. And I stopped, I didn't count until I locked it. So three seconds. focused. <laughs> I just went up there. One, two, three, four, five. All right, all right. Let's get it. Enough bullshit. This video is probably too long. I'm gonna give it like five, ten more tries. See if I can't hold the five seconds. I've held a few of them for pretty decent, but... We gotta try this, man. If not, we'll get it next time. It's honestly probably because the ramp isn't steep enough because when I was first here, I couldn't even smith. 
no joke, the ramp was too mellow, but yeah, so five seconds right here. I think I'm over this front smith challenge, honestly, because I think I already did it. And I'm sick of cleaning my wheels off, really. I just want to land some trees. <laughs> like, I pretty much landed the front smith every try since I figured it out, but it's hard when you're trying to, like, hold it, because I keep going into disaster and whatever. I'll probably give you guys, like, an overview of what I learned about this trick. So, what I learned about front smith is, like, you just can't be afraid of it. I used to always be afraid of frontside tricks, and they're honestly easier than backside. And when you fall, you fall into the ramp. You don't fall on the deck, which is a lot better, in my opinion. It just doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> I like backside, backside tricks more still, but like frontside tricks, I think are safer. And yeah, there's there's a lot. Of, it's a lot easier to bail out. Like. I don't know, whenever I felt like my truck slip into front D, you just literally push your front foot down on the ramp so the board doesn't go anywhere, boom, you can bail out. I think what helped me out the most though is that kid's advice the other day who taught me backsmith is just standing up on the ramp, keeping your shoulders parallel, making sure you got a good dip, and just leaning most of your weight back on that back truck so it doesn't slip into front D or, you know, you just don't lock in or whatever you just need to make sure you get that back truck locked in and then the dip also helps with the lock-in but i think the most important part is just leaning back on that back truck like you of course you need to dip it i would maybe 5 would help but i honestly think front smith's a lot easier a lot easier to go in the ramp as well god i'm a fucking blabber mouth today i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe homies uh i'm glad we're back i'm gonna try to make more videos before i go back to utah and do all that fucking bullshit. Let me know if you guys uh, have any questions about this trick that like I, I honestly can't think of, you know, anything like super helpful right now about it. So if there's any problems you run into, just let me know in a comment below and I'll try to work it out with you and maybe I'll make another video explaining it because I'm just gonna try to film more and just try to help you guys out because that's what YouTube's all about and what the skateboarding community is all about is just helping each other and yeah, I've just been selfish, so like, comment, subscribe, homies. Love you. Peace out.